Can a British Faulkner pass an American Falconry exam? That's right, it's time for part three of the exam. Uh, this section of the exam is titled uh, Other Falconry Birds. And for this episode, I am kicking it up a notch. If you watched the last one, you would have seen me suffer through eating some chilies. Um, they were just chilies that I bought at the shop, and I am not good with spicy food, so I suffered. But I think on the Scoville scale, whatever you call it, they were like a couple of thousand. Today, I have got these hab hab habaneros, which it tells me on this packet, Scoville scale, 130,000 to 200,000. So like, what, a hundred times more than the last ones I ate? So I really don't want to get one wrong. I keep burping and every time I burp, it burns. Question one. Defining characteristics of the true falcons includes A, pro, uh, possessing heavy crushing feet, B, having a toothed or notched beak, uh, C, feeding on only birds, D, having the most manoeuvrability. Um, so this one is going to be B, having a toothed or notched beak. Uh, the falcons have got something called a tamile tooth, which is uh, like an extra little point or a little lump on either side of the top beak, just behind the main front point. B, correct. Um, Number two, true or false, large falcons kill their prey primarily by the tremendous, tremendous gripping power of their feet. Um, well, no, I would say that's false, and it's almost repeating the first question because falcons supposedly use the point and the tamile tooth to, some people say, sever the spine um, of their prey, so they so whilst they still hold their food with their feet, uh, really they're using their beak to do the killing, I think. So, false. Uh, correct. Falcons are known for subduing their prey quickly by severing its spinal cord with their beak. Yes, okay. Um, the hawks that dispatch their vertebrate prey by severing the spinal cord are the A. Falcons, B. Buteos, C. Occipitas, D. Eagles. Is this entire round going to be repeating itself over and over again. Uh, A. We've already spoken about this. Falcons using the tomato tooth to sever the spinal cord. Uh, answer A. Yes, okay. Going easy so far. <laughs> Four. The bird least likely to slice is the A. Peregrine falcon, B. Red-tailed hawk, C. Golden eagle, D. Goshawk. So slicing is talking about the way that they poo. Um, so birds that slice fire their poo, um, and then I think they call it muting, um, which is just where the poo drops straight down. Um, so least likely to slice would be A, the peregrine falcon, because they tend to just drop it down all over the side of their perch, rather than spraying it all over the walls like the hawks and eagles do. So answer A. Correct. Stick nests are not built by A. Occipitas, B. True Falcons, C. Buteos, D. Eagles. Uh, I'm going to say B. True Falcons because I think they tend to, rather than making a stick nest, they'll often make a scraping um, on a ledge or something. Uh, a lot of them, we've got a lot of um, wild peregrines here in the UK, um, and a lot of places like cathedrals and things will put up um, sort of nest ledges for them, um, and they sort of just sit in the nest ledge and make a nest, scrape a nest in there. So, uh, B true falcons. Correct. Right. Number six. True or false? In the case of most falcons, the male does most of the hunting for about the first two weeks after the young hatch. Um, I'm going to say that is true. Um, typically, I mean, I, I'm sure there is never really a set specific rule that every animal follows and there's always nuance with how they raise their chicks uh, but generally 
the female will stay in the nest whilst the male goes and collects the food. Um, and this is supposedly why, uh, one theory as to why the females have got a larger size so that they can defend their nest um, and sit and incubate all of the chicks. So all of the, so the smaller males will go out and collect the food uh, and bring it back. Oh, answer true, correct. Seven. The species that is most apt to occupy and defend the largest territory is the AJ Falcon, B Northern Harrier, C Cooper's Hawk, D American Kestrel. Um, I'm going to say A the Jew Falcon because they were my great three species and they're also just the largest of these four birds. So the bigger you are, I think the bigger you can claim your territory. Um, Answer A, yes. Uh, generally, the larger the bird, the more territory it needs to provide food and shelter for a nesting pair and their young. Yeah, okay. Um, number eight. The largest of the following bird birds is the A, jerkin, B, jack merlin, C, peregrine falcon, D, peregrine teasel. So a jerkin is a male jer falcon, a jack merlin is a male merlin, a peregrine falcon is the female peregrine, and a peregrine tiersel is the male peregrine. So I would say it's not far off between jerkin and female uh, peregrine falcon, but I think that the jerkin is probably going to be bigger than the Probably not far off, but the jerkin, I'm going to say, is the biggest one. Uh, answer A. It says, oh yeah, it even says that there is some overlap between the male jerk falcon and the female peregrine. Number nine. The peregrine falcon, A, exists on all continents except Antarctica. B, lays more eggs per clutch than any other species of raptor. C, preys on all other species. D, has no species that competes with it except man. Um, I, I definitely wouldn't say that they lay more eggs per clutch than any other species of raptor. A peregrine will lay, what, two or three eggs, perhaps? Um, I have um, seen barn owls lay up to ten eggs before, so definitely they're not laying any more eggs than any other species. Um, preys on all other species, um, well, no, um, I don't think there's an animal existing that preys on all other species other than man. <laughs> Has no species that competes with it except man. Uh, no, a peregrine can easily become prey just as fast as it's a predator. Uh, so, exists on all continents except Antarctica because Antarctica is just too cold for it and there probably isn't enough for it to hunt there. So, A. Yes. Number 10. A mylar stripe is likely to be likely to be found on A. A. Peregrine falcon. B. Ptarmigan. C. Mullen hood. D. Ornate hawk eagle. Oh, I love ornate hawk eagles. I would love an ornate hawk eagle. When I got my first ever falconry book, um, which was Dr. Fox's Understanding the Bird of Prey, um, and I was flicking through the pictures, the Ornate Hawk Eagle, I was immediately drawn to and thought, one day, one day I am going to own myself an Ornate Hawk Eagle. But that is not my answer. The Mylar Stripe is the, the black stripe that comes down the side of the, the face of peregrine falcons um, and most other falcon species. Um, and it is the reason, in theory, why women wear makeup and do that little black flicky thing on their eyes. Little swish up on their eyes. Um, because the Egyptians had a falcon god called Horus, um, and the falcons have the Mylar stripes, um, and so the Egyptians would, to try and worship the falcon god, would copy him by doing the, the little stripes on their own eyes. Um, there was a paper written about the Mylar Stripe because there is a theory that they are almost like sunglasses because dark colours absorb light. So if you have a dark stripe on your face, then perhaps it's taking some of the light 
away from your eyes and act a bit like sunglasses. Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if that works. Um, but the study did find that the falcons around the world that lived in areas with the most amount of sunlight and in warmer climates where there was lots of sun anyway would either have a thicker or a darker mylar stripe. So perhaps uh, it, it was perhaps the theory is correct. But yes, uh, a peregrine falcon. Correct. We're doing okay so far. 10 out of 10. <laughs> There's just 21 more to go. True or false? The skin and scale areas of adult prairie falcons and peregrine falcons differ from those of immature individuals. Uh, so, yes, true. The, the skin and scale areas of adult peregrine falcons... Yes, so uh, a juvenile peregrine um, will have sort of bluish coloured skin around its sear. Um, and its eyes, and it'll have sort of blue feet as well, and blue legs. Um, whereas once they mature into an adult, um, they, or, or grey blue, uh, once they mature into an adult, they get the sort of nice yellow colours come through. So, true. Yes. Number 12, true or false? The peregrine falcon has a tail relatively longer than that of a prairie falcon and jer falcon. Uh, no, I'm going to say false. I think a peregrine has a relatively shorter tail to a jer falcon. False. Correct. Good. The incubation period for a peregrine falcon's eggs is A. 21 days, B. 24 days, C. 33 to 34 days, D. 40 to 45 days. Um, now, I, I think it's about a month, so the one that lines up with that the most is C, 33 to 34 days, because I think it's roughly a month. So I'm going to say C, but also I think the quiz is kind of helping, the uh, exam is kind of helping me there, because um, I don't imagine there's any egg, any species that hatches bang on 21 days or bang on 24 days, it's much more accurate to have a range like 33 to 34 days. Um, so I'm going to say C because I think it's about a month. Correct. 14. The large dark peregrine falcon that dwells in the, dwells in the Pacific Northwest from Washington State to British Columbia, southeastern Alaska, and the Aleutians is known as American Peregrine, Peel's Peregrine, Tundra Peregrine, and the European Peregrine. I am going to say I think that would be a Peel's um, because my um, my American geography is not the best, but the peels, I think, is more of a coastal type subspecies of the peregrine, and I think that's kind of the areas it's describing. So I'm going to go for B. Peels. Oh, correct. Good. <laughs> I'm really nervous about these chilies. I don't want to have to eat one. 15. What does acetique mean to the North American falconer? A. A piece of fine silk used in classic falconry to seal the eyes of newly <coughs> captured birds. B. An iron deficiency which first shows up in the mutes of anemic birds. C. A major concentration point on the eastern migration route of the tundra peregrine. D. The Crow Indian name for a young prairie falcon. I don't know what that word is. Acetique? Um, I don't know what 
bad pace. Well, now I'm very nervous. Save me, Charlie. Save me, Charlie. <laughs> will, will you eat a chilli, Charlie? Yeah, you would. You'd eat anything, wouldn't you? Um, I don't know if that is showing a glaringly obvious gap in my knowledge, or if this is just a really obscure question, <laughs> or maybe it's just such a specific American question that I just don't know. I don't know what the word acetique is. Um, a piece of fine silk used in classic falconry to seal the eyes of newly captured birds. An iron deficiency. I don't believe it's going to be an iron deficiency. I feel like I would recognise that if it was that one. A major concentration point on the eastern migration route of the tundra peregrine. What does acetate mean? to the North American falconer. I don't know what to do about this one. What does it mean? What does it mean? I'm just stalling now. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna go for A. I don't know. Well, thank you for watching this video, and that's it for me. Oh, I'm going to have to eat a very, very spicy chilli now. Oh, they're so big as well. What if I just tell myself it's just a tomato? It's just a sun-dried tomato. It's just a sun-dried tomato. Come on now. I want a little one. No, you cannot be serious. Have I got to put that entire thing in my mouth? This sounds really dodgy. Also, the sun's gone in and the camera's gone really bloody dark. Let me sort the lighting out quickly. Pause, one second. Right, that's better. Okay. So, I got it wrong. I said I would do this. Oh, I don't want to do it. <laughs> God, why am I doing this? Uh... Oh, it's so dry and tough. Oh my word. This is a bad idea. <laughs> oh! I should have swallowed it. Oh, that was so much worse than I thought it would be. It's horrible. 
I need a drink. I'm having to stop. I'm gonna have to stop. Everything is painful. I might be sick. F this exam. I don't want to be in a American Falcon. Oh my god, it's so awful. I don't think I could carry on with this. <coughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing this again. I'm so over this. 16. A peregrine falcon is best known for A. Short bursts of speed. B. Waiting on flights. C. Long pursuits lasting miles. D. Crashing into heavy brush from treetops. Uh, waiting on flights. B. Correct. 17. A prairie falcon is best described as A. Smaller than a merlin. B. Delicate and sensitive to cold. See, see, my greater calls to Vulcan. D, difficult to man. I think they're pretty famously assholes. So I'm gonna say, D, difficult to man. Oh, D, correct. Large falcons are known to capture their prey by A, binding, B, striking, C, interviewed. D, A and B above. Binding is where they grab hold of the prey, strike is where they hit it. Interviewed is to do with the um, malt. So, D, A and B above. It's getting worse. Why is it getting worse? It shouldn't get worse. Shouldn't it get better all the time? Oh my word. Why did I do that? D, correct. 19. Cooper's hawks are best suited for hunting A duck, B quail, C jackrabbit, D pheasants. I think they're quite small, so I'm going to go for the smallest one there, which is B quail. Answer B. Oh, fuck for that. 20. My nose is dribbling. Parabutios utilised for falconry in North America. A are best suited for hunting Arctic hare. B, may be hunted in groups. <coughs> C, are avoided because they are difficult to man. D, not only above. Parabutios of Harris Hawks are a social species, so B, may be hunted in groups. Correct. 21. Male sharp shinned hawks are well suited for hunting a quail. B English sparrows, C rabbits, D pheasants. I was tripped up by the English sparrows the last time I did this quest, uh, quiz, exam, whatever it is. I'm not going to be tripped up by them again. B English sparrows. Oh, thank goodness for that. 22. The bird most commonly used by falconers during the 16th century was. Red-tailed hawk, B. Harris's hawk, C. Cooper's hawk, D. Peregrine falcon. In the 16th century, it would have been a peregrine falcon. Yeah, ye olde, ye olde.